This is what happens when you're not trying to plant pumpkins. They came from over there. There's a compost pile right there. And the pumpkin guts got thrown in it. And we didn't say anything about planting pumpkins. And, and, and then this happens. This entire area is completely choked. I mean, there's, there's plants in here that, that, that are, there's a tomato right there. Forget it, it's done. The pumpkins have taken over. So we're gonna have to do this on purpose without the pumpkins knowing. That seems to be the trick. Back here in the food forest, I planted some pumpkins on purpose. They knew it. They knew I wanted them to grow. They're just not that impressive. If, if you... You do what's on the seed packet. You make a little hill and you put some compost in it. That's what I did. You know, they're here. We've got some pumpkins. But look at these little things. This is not, this is not, this is not like the ones, this is not like the other ones. And I planted pumpkin hills all over here. And this is, this is a wide range of genetics, you know? It's like mostly seminal pumpkins, some other cucurbita machata. There's pumpkins here. It's making pumpkin. That's nice. Nice little machata there, but this is not like the compost pile. So. So, I, so I, I, I'm clever here. We're gonna do something clever. There you go. We've been using our pigs to clear these 16 by 16 foot sections here and there, planting food forest crops and cover crops and trees and things after them. In this particular space, we put them underneath the trees because it's gotten so hot. Uh, earlier in the year, I had them out in the yard further out with less shade but now uh it's pretty much it's pretty much too hot for piggies so we got to make them a wallow every day and come out here and sometimes spray them with the hose to cool them off but i have a square like this and and the pumpkins don't know they don't know about this but there's a square that just got cleared by the pigs before we moved them under these trees and, and that's our that's our target. But I'm, I've got to talk a little ways away from where the pumpkin seeds are. What a nice clear area! I think I'll build a compost pile here. Yeah, this is nice. There's a nice indentation to dump all of this compostable material in. Oh, I got some kitchen scraps. Got some cow manure. Got some. Mostly finished compost from another pile. There we go. Let's dump some of that in there. Spread some of this in here. That looks good. Paper plates, perfect. Definitely just building a compost pile. Not trying to plant anything in it or any of that kind of stuff. Nope, just compost. That's not much of a compost pile, but it's all we can manage. Well, I should probably do something else. Oh, wait. I think I left some seeds out in the yard. Sweetheart, did I leave seeds out in the yard the other day? Yeah. Would you bring them over to me? Sure. Be careful. Don't accidentally slip and throw them in here. Don't accidentally drop them or anything. Oh, oh shoot! Oh, oh no! No, those were pumpkin seeds! Oh, now they're all dead! Oh shoot! Oh goodness. Well, not everything turns out the way we wish it would.
at least we'll have a compost pile. For years, we got seminal pumpkins out of our compost pile, like multiple years in a row, because we would harvest them and eat them through the summer and fall and winter, and we would throw some of the seeds and everything into the compost, which was at the edge of the garden. And then I would see pumpkins coming up in the spring when things warmed up, and then next thing you know, there were pumpkin vines running all over the place. And that's what's happening again. We've always got the best pumpkins coming out of the compost pile. So, so long as they don't know you're trying to grow them, I, I think that's really the key. So there's something magical about a compost pile and how stuff grows out of it. So this is just one of those experiments. If you've done something similar, please let me know in the comments. I, I, I love the idea of let's just pile up a bunch of junk and throw some seeds on it and see what happens because obviously it's working over there where I was doing it and it's working better than the nice proper mounds that I watered and put compost in. Who knows? So long as they don't overhear us, I think it's gonna work. Catch you all next time. Be sure to check out my book, Compost Everything, The Good Guide to Extreme Composting, where we show you how to turn almost everything into food. And until then, may your thumbs always be green.